Hey everyone, let's talk about dbt project and environment variables. We'll first talk about environment variables. Let's first understand why do we even need this. So just recall we have a profiles.yaml that is used by dbt to connect to your external system like uh, for our case we are connected to snowflake so we are providing uh, the uh, details like account database password and then we are giving the username and these are very super secretive username and password right and this is something that you don't want to expose to other people or something suppose you what you do is you just push this profiles.yaml in git file you don't want to expose your password so this is where you can use environment variables let's see how we can do that so first let's uh, let's set some i have already set some project environment variables so let me just show you that i've created two uh, variables like dbt password and dbt username i've given the values for this now we can use this uh, variables in our project let's see how we can do that so to do that uh, you just have to place this variable so this is suppose this is my username i'll pass it as a environment and i'll pass this dbt username whatever key you have provided the same thing you have to do you have to do it for the password so i'll come here i'll give password so these keys are matching with your environment variables right let's save it let's see if this works so i'll go to our project let me close all this and I'll do a dbt. So this shows your connection tests are okay. So it's able to get the variables from the environment and it's able to test it. Okay. Now let's talk about project variables. Uh, in any programming um, uh, programming language, you do provide a variables that you want to use uh, in, as a placeholder somewhere, right? So that, that's the same functionality you can have in dbt as well. So for that, what I did was I, I'm creating one raw sales data. So let's create this first and then we'll insert some data. Let me show you what the data look like. So you have, uh, so for transaction day, we only have January month data for all the records and you have all the employee IDs and you have the sales amount for like for the day. So for the first, they did a sales of $5,000, similarly $7,000, similarly $8,500. And similarly, you have the data for other employee IDs as well okay now my use case what i'm trying to do i have a sales expectation like let's say like twenty thousand dollar and i'm expecting my employees to have a to do a sales of greater than twenty thousand dollar for this month for the january month now i want to have a new column here which will say that if this particular employee has met expectation or not so we'll go back to a project we'll first see define a sales source so this is present in raw this is the table that we have created so i have defined my source now what i'll do is i'll create an intermediate tables like it's coming in intermediate stage and i want to create a report like what are the employees who have made expectation or not i'll go there first thing first first i'll define the materialization so i want this to be created as a table then first i want to calculate what is the total sales for each employee so basically i'm calculating like employee id i'm uh, doing a sum of sales amount from this particular source that we have already defined and i'm just grouping by employee ID. so i'm calculating like each employee how much sales was done now what i want to do i want to define a new column which will say that this makes my expectation or not but the expectation can be different right some some month it can be twenty thousand dollars some month it can be thirty thousand dollars so this is where we can use variables what i'll do is i'll select the employee id i'll select the total sales what we got from previously and i'll do a case statement that if the total sales greater than variable so this is how you define any variables then i i can say that may met expectation 
else did not meet the expectation so this i'll name it as a sales expectation status now let's see how we define these variables so there are two way first way is you go to a project.yml file and you define variables and you define the key value so this will be a variable name and this will be value so basically what we are saying is every employee should have uh, should have sales greater than 20000 let me run this so it already created a variable let's go there let's select this table so if you see that all these employees have make expectation but this particular employee does not uh, have sales greater than 20000 that's why they uh, they did not meet the expectation but if you see that we are hard coding these variables here this should be a better way to provide this variable this is where you can provide the variables through command line argument where you are running the dbt run let me just copy one command i'll come here what i am giving is i am giving my uh, dash dash vars i am providing the sales expectation so this is this is uh, your variable that you are passing so i am passing sales expectation as 10000 let me run this again okay it already created the table i'll go to sell the here i run this again now you see that all expectations are met. So I have changed the query dynamically. So these are two ways. Either you provide your variables as variable file in the dbt project or you can provide it as a argument. So I feel like rather than having that hard coded somewhere, it's always good that, in that you can pass from runtime because you can do a lot of uh, different things with uh, running as argument so to know more about this what you can do is like you can go to dbt docs uh, let's go to dbt docs uh, so build dbt projects enhance your code and you can uh, read more about project variables and environment variables from here this is the short video on this i hope this this was helpful and if you like the video give it a like and please uh, subscribe to my channel if you're liking the content